All right, triple threat tag uh, for the uh, World Tag Team Champions. This it was, was an interesting match. Yep, Kratos and Aaron, Aaron Stevens, Strictly Business, and the War Kings. Um, number one, the triple threat implementation in this match was awesome. Yeah. Um, it was a greatly paced match. Huh? Lots of good story. Mm -hmm. um, even within the match itself yeah. was very nice. It wasn't as spot festy as a previous match. Actually, I didn't. I didn't even mind it. It was just a nice little sleeper match that kind of, it it, it paced itself to a point where you didn't want to miss anything. Right. But it was not a big deal if you missed a little bit. Right. Um. Aaron Stevens sells like a million bucks, but obviously Kratos is the guy. Oh, that let's they talk want. about how um uh, uh Tim Storm was referring to Chris Adonis. Ah uh, yes. Masters, like three times throughout the show. And um, what's his name? The other guy, Joe, whatever his name yeah. is, the actual guy. He said it a couple of times. Dude, they said Masters in the Master Lock. I get it. I mean, I really do. It's you know Chris Adonis. He's right. um. Still fairly new, and they were away for a while on a regular basis. They so, were, but um, let's talk about Velvet Sky. Velvet, Velvet Sky, Sky was great. Oh my god, Velvet she was Sky. she was star, and she this was, she was one of my. I think she's one of the better women commentators I've heard, like ever. Yep. And I'm not just saying that. I think that she she, she has she a is, lot to contribute to these matches. Right, and um, she has great reaction. Yep. Um, I will say that there's actually a lot of great because um, you know with with women on the commentary team like we're talking like um, we're talking Renee Young we're talking um, uh, God what's her name Beth Phoenix yeah Beth Phoenix like, and Beth Phoenix is like, good I like Beth well, Phoenix the problem is is they kind of do their one liners every now and then but you have uh, the male dominating the conversation right and Velvet with, Sky does Velvet, Velvet Sky, Sky Velvet Sky I think was the dominant person these these three these three fit like a glove man yeah. um, oh other my God. God. Anyway, back to the match itself. Um, I thought once again it was paced really nice, yep. and it was a low blow for Kratos um, for Aaron Stevens to actually get the pin. And it looks like that they're back there. And also, the one thing with the commentary, you can watch this match, and you know oh, yeah. exactly what's happening. Yep. They explained it so great, and um, it was a retention, which I was actually surprised about. Yeah. I think. No, you said um, Kratos and Stevens to retain. Yep. I said War Kings to win. So, obviously, I was not correct on this one, but I was correct on the next match. All right, so let's make this majestic again. So, number one, before we even fucking get into it. Um, um, let's not change the commentary team ever, except that um, Nick Aldis is not uh, – sorry, Chris uh, – Chris Adonis. Chris Adonis is not Chris Nash. Okay, they were a little excited. I'm not gonna bitch about that, but yes, never change your um, never change your commentary. Everybody there is so important. Yep. And they did such a great job. NWA, don't change them fucking ever. Um, even like Tim Storm, Velvet Sky, no, don't right. don't do it. They uh, they. I hope I hope the crowd gets bigger. They they will. They will. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, the, when they said that. Um, when our shadows fall was actually going to be with like live audience. I think it like sold down ten minutes. It did. Yeah. So it did. Uh, Mickey James. Uh, uh, Mickey James Aldis was there. She was there, but she didn't show up on the pay per view, which I was. Well, I'm not surprised about because I think she has a 90 day. Mm -hmm. So I mean, she can be there. She's going to be a part of that women's division, which will fucking make not only that division but pro wrestling majestic again. <laughs> but now here's here's my issue once again. So NWA has been sitting on When Our Shadows Fall. They announced this like a month and a half ago. And they only announced the one world title match for weeks right. and weeks. And people were like, what is it? They announced the entire card in like one day, like four days ago. Why? Why did he not promote literally anything else? They were like, oh, here's a four-way and here's a triple thread. Why didn't you do anything? I think the only other match maybe that I can possibly think that actually had a rivalry going into it was um, Tyrus and Pope. Right. Other than that, I could not give a shit care less yeah. about anything else that was happening. Um, that was a little bit frustrating. So let's go into this. Um, so with the Fatal 4-Way, great showcase. Oh, yeah. I really I really wouldn't do much with this match. Yeah. Um, I like the fact that they brought in the um, Triple A and established that partnership a little bit. Um, um, I, would, I would work on some of the spots a little bit better. I understand it wasn't full mat floors, but... Right. right. Also, the, the one thing is Sam Adonis. It had to be Sam Adonis. Right. Why did you have his name 
change here. We all know who it is. We weren't going to get confused. Why? Right. Um, but I thought it was overall a fantastic showcase of some great wrestlers. Right. Um, oh, I think we're going somewhere. No. Oh, okay. Also, also, the spots were away from the fans. I felt bad for the fans. Yes, they were. It was like across the way because um, the fans were sitting on one side, and they did a lot of the diving spots literally on the opposite side of the ring. Um, what I would do is I would have made the fans like a V formation. I would have done the spots on that side. I would have too. Yeah. That would have been really cool. I think the fans would have really enjoyed that. Um, to what I'm going to assume is that there was some COVID restriction yeah, about probably. that because um, the, the, the guys went over there, but there weren't like any high fives or anything. Right. So I, I'm going to assume that's what that was. Yeah. And I'm going to accept that. Um, but overall, that was fine. Yeah. Uh, maybe put down some fucking um, pads because every time they did a dive, I was scared right. to death. Um, what was our next match? I can't even remember. Oh, Pope Tyrus. No, so number fuck this, man. <laughs> God, the spots were so bad. Tyrus, um, in shape. Yeah, Tyrus, you, you got to at least lose like I, I love, pounds. I love your character work, but God, get in shape, man. He really Fuck. does. Um, the Pope the Pope really tried his best. I will he, say that. Um, but I did, the Pope cannot... He, 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 is struggling, to do he, he, just, he is struggling carrying that match on his own. He yeah. needed someone good to carry that match. Or at least help him along with it. I think Tyrus was just not quite Tyrus there yet. The I, th I think it's just because he wasn't in shape. And that sucks. Um, Austin Island. All, all, all the spots. I mean, the spots were bad. But that's just Tyrus not being in fucking shape. I did like um, I did like Austin Idol. I thought he was a great little distraction. And then, like, the little sneaky. Here's, like, a brass knuckle, whatever. What I did like was that they did not show what the item right. was um, for the punch. And also, with Pope being a um, Golden Gloves boxer, um, I thought that the ending was very poetic. Yeah. So, actually, I was okay with this ending, and I'm actually excited to see what they do next. But just Tyrus needs to get in shape. But, you know, that's here nor there. there. Right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Women's. Tag team match. Was it the women's tag? Yes, it was. Okay. So with this... Oh, wrong one. Wow, I'm doing fucking great today, aren't I? You are. We're just going to continue. Okay, there we go. So, um, once again, I think Molina just needed to be in a little but more in-ring shape. In better ring shape, but otherwise it was a great match. Um, Thunder yeah. Rosa, um, Terrell. I, 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 I kind of hate saying this, but I feel like Thunder Rosa is kind of overshadowing other people in this division. I think so, too. But anyways, Ter Terrell and Kylie were... A great addition to the roster. Yeah. Um, they need that star power especially. I hope Kylie Ray did sign a deal with them. Taryn Terrell, I know, did, um, which is awesome. I think, I think Kylie Ray is signed with Impact Wrestling as of right now. She signed with Impact? I think so. I think her contract's with Impact. Yeah. So anyways, but I like I like the anti hero kind of. Uh, I like the heel. I, I I like I like the anti heel or the anti heel the anti hero heel. Did kind you of ring. notice that her her ring gear was all black? Well, it was like a dark. Was it black or was it a dark green? It was kind of a dark. I don't know. It, it kind of looked dark green, but it, it wasn't was, full black. It was like a light. It green. was it, it was it was not the fun happily tickly thing that you see here. Right. It was it was, it was darker. Tickly. It was darker. Yes. yes. It was definitely. Once darker. again, great symbolism. Yeah. Um, there was a little more aggression on her too, which oh, I yeah. really liked. Um, I hope she does go full fledged heel because it was cool. It was it like was. A, it was like when Bailey was hinting at being heel before she went right. full heel. I loved it. It was great. Uh, but I thought that was but great. Yeah, Melina's getting ring shape. Uh, Fred Rosser and JTG. Oh my God, this match is this. No, this match should not have happened. This was weird. Um, so number one, they did like no promo for this, no. like at all. I couldn't find anything regarding any kind of promo. Um, JTG is going to be a great addition to the roster, yep. and I hope we see Fred Rosser back in NWA because I think he actually fits that criterion he very does. well. So he's with NJPW right now, right, on a full-time contract. Yep. But obviously, because of the with restrictions, the right, because of the restrictions in the partnership, he obviously isn't going over to Japan right now. Um, but these two cannot be in a match together. Maybe a tag team. Maybe I can see them as a tag, tag team. team. Tag team. But fuck, man. 
I feel like there was something off with this. I just wouldn't put them in there until they can um, agree to maybe work a little bit more snug. Yeah, it um, was not a very snug match. This was, this was not making pro wrestling majestic again. And honestly, the best way to do this, this is one of those things where um, if it just doesn't work, don't try it. And this is just kind of one of those things where I just don't know what you could do to save this match. Know. I don't know if the NWE does practice matches with these people, but it, it feels like I'm not this sure. one was put on the last minute. Yeah. It literally felt like it, it was put on the last yeah. minute. It was not very well done. I can see that, definitely. I 100%. So, uh, da, 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 da. I don't All know right, why you keep doing that. Up. I loved this match. Um, um, so, the, the tag teams that didn't get along were very well done. It was very well done. Um, I so one thing that I did not like, I could not tell if Aaron Stevens and Kratos were baby faces or heels. Yeah, I could there not. There was a lot of blurring of those. Lines. There was blurring of those lines, and I don't know. I did not know who to cheer for. I did not know who to boo against, and that bothers me. I kind of like it being laid out on. And, and here's the thing: is that I normally don't like that. I like to make that decision for myself, but. We're talking about the NWA. Which has not been running shows on a consistent basis in two months. No, no, we're talking months. about the NWA, which is traditional wrestling, wrestling. Right. Which means that we should know who to cheer for and who not to cheer for. Right, right. with Kratos. Kratos was working with um, uh, Jax Kane for a while. Right. And, see, that and, was then, my, and, then, and then and then Aaron Stevens right. was getting beaten up by the same no, guy. It's like, what the that, fuck? That was, that was my point. My point was, is this is the NWA. We need to know who to cheer for and who to boo against. Right. It was super weird. It this was. was a weird match. It was. It was um, if, if, wrestling, man. Right. If I was going to do something like this, I would have either um, established the more baby face heel dynamic or have just um, taken out one of these teams entirely right. and had a um, uh, two-on-two tag team right. title Classic match. Classic tag team match. And right. to be honest, if I was going to choose either between the War Kings and Latimer and Adonis, if I you were going to choose Latimer and Adonis. Really? I was going to choose the War Kings. Latimer and Adonis, because they're pretty, they're very obviously heel because they're part of Strictly Business. Right. So, and, and, the, and the War Kings, once again, you have that blurring of the lines. I can see where you're coming right. at. And so the Strictly strictly heel, and so we, we cheer for the baby faces. Right. right. And which was Kratos and um, right. I don't Aaron Stevens. I don't know if they were baby faces. But I don't know because they won, again, with, they, they won with a low right, blow. But you, know, <laughs> right. but you know Latimer and Adonis were definitely the heels. Right. right. They were part of the heel faction. Right. right. But yeah, they could have set up a whole lot better. Let's talk about the women's match. I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have changed a damn thing. No, it was a great match. Um, yeah, so, 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 so Camille, was. yep, Camille was a, was, won a number one contenders match. She was number one contender. She earned this title shot. They had the match. It was laid out great. Yep. Um, everyone did a great job. Yep. The only the only thing that I was going to say is that Camille needs a little more work mm -hmm. about her um, vocalizations right. on putting on submissions. She sounded like she was getting fucked in the ass, mm -hmm. and that was really like it was like it took me out of the realm of what was going on because yeah. I was actually immersed yeah. until she was like, <sighs> I'm like God damn, are you giving birth to a caribou? Is. <laughs> anyway, speaking of giving birth to caribous, let's talk about um, Trevor, Trevor Murdoch. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how that segue goes into it. I'm not sure if you just call Trevor Murdoch a caribou or fat, but we're just going to Yes. Um, so I... But the, the ending of this match was... I understand why they did it. It was just awful, though. Like, I, uh, here's, ah! here's, here's my thing. I, I know when... I know when... Murdoch is going to win this belt. I know when he's going to. It's going to be when they can have 100% capacity people in the building. They're going to. Trevor and because, Murdoch is going to win this title. He's going to win this title from Aldis. But here's the thing. If you're going to do that, do not put this match on yet. I feel like they were a little too like They were a little too slap happy. Because, because this is match number two. Right. This is not match number one. This is match oh, number really? two. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is number two. And both times it was some bullshit. So this that was a weird part of this. Yeah, this was not this was not his first opportunity. Sounds like Trevor Murdoch's out for some blood then. I kinda like that. 
Yeah, yeah maybe. I, I, I think this is part of the storyline, actually. You know maybe, what? maybe he's going heel? No, maybe he's going to play anti-hero. Maybe he's, he's sick and tired of being sick and tired. Maybe he goes stone cold on us. Maybe. And then finally beats Aldis and wins this belt. But and he and becomes this generation's... Uh, stone cold? I mean, pretty much. Yeah. You can call it that. Well, if you're thinking anti-hero, it's Stone right. Cold. That's Stone Cold's right, right, right. But, right. It's, but, you know, maybe then he gets in a little bit of rivalry with Billy Corgan. Like, right. Uh, you're not following the rules of the NWA. I don't care if I'm right. not following the rules of the NWA. I'm going to do what I want. Right. Anyways. You, you went like Eric Cartman on... Um, on um, Oh, God. What was the show that Eric Cartman was on when he was dressed up as the... Uh, as the little hooker. Oh, I know. I can't remember that one. That one was the one with, um, oh, God. Um, uh, it was... Uh, was I it, cannot remember. I cannot remember. Me. No, it was um, It was their spoof of uh, Jerry Springer. It was. It was that Jerry was Springer it. Springer it, was, it was a Jerry Springer spoof. But, I mean, <laughs> you kind of sounded like that. I do what I want. Um, I think it would be cool, but to be honest with you, I kind of like Billy Corgan in the background. I um, kind of do as well, you but gotta, I would you, not mind having Billy Corgan... Be involved here and there. Maybe just kind of beat anybody up where Trevor Murdoch can face anybody. Right. Because all this is a clear heel. He is. Um, Very Trevor, clearly the right. heel. He is the leader of the and, and like, business. And, like, and the thing with the Stone Cold is that he could face somebody like Kurt Angle who wasn't fully healed, but then you could face The Rock who right. was clearly – and then Triple H. I think Trevor Murdoch is going to go that direction right. where he can face baby faces and heels, yep. and he's kind of that middleman right. guy because he have a great match with anybody. Right. So, so anyways, that's kind of how I would make it majestic again. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. If you really wanted to make this majestic again, I don't care what it was. If you were going to do this match, I feel like this was his time. I feel like this should have been. I, well, I kind of feel like it too, but now looking on it, if they actually go through with what I say, I hope that Billy Corgan pays me for this one, um, that they continue on with that little rivalry. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll be the English commentary team for you guys. We are. You know what? <laughs> we already have an English commentary team is a lot better than we'll ever be. Yeah, probably. Um, we'll do. We'll, we'll do. Um, we'll learn Spanish, and we'll be the Spanish commentary team. <laughs> I can't pronounce Ignobles. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why we need it, because <laughs> it would be really bad. <laughs> <That'd> be re- <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> so, yes. Um, so, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy this, remember to like this video. What is on the books for next week? We got an end up. No, you don't have an end up. We have a NJPW show. We have um, Dominion, which is actually going to be happening in a couple of hours, but obviously it's not going to overlap. But then also we have um, NXT TakeOver in your house. Yes, we do. So, so we got two exciting pay-per-views next week. And if you like this, subscribe. Um, become a patron. It's one-time payment. Uh, and per like a certain money amount, where we like add new shows. Right. So if we so if you if we hit a certain number of subscribers, and then we'll add in um, Impact Plus shows yeah. to our regular reviews, and then so we'll on and so forth. Help us get to that goal by subscribing to our Patreon. Right. It's like five bucks a month, and um, when we release merch, you guys will like know all the newest stuff too. Yeah. So um, and definitely subscribe to the channel, so share it with your friends, friends now too. Like the video, comment down below what did you think about the show. Um, not only here, but if you saw when our shadows fall, it was great. It was. And as always, be majestic. majestic.